morning. So we're going to talk about the colors today. But first, I got to get a little workout in. So I'm on like a little weight loss journey. We'll talk about that too. So come on with me. Color time time. So she was asleep. I was on the computer doing some homework. My helper is up. So let's go check her out. I love when she do her smile. So let's see what she do it. He jostling. You gonna smile for me? You gonna smile for me? You gonna smile for yeah, go. You trying? You gonna smile for your daddy? Hey, daddy. All right, we got some work to do. All right, so we gotta get dressed. And get you set for the day. There you go. There you go. All right, let's get ready. We up and ready. Um, let me see. We swap, swapped out. She got her Michigan gear on. Say what's up. So I'm going to talk about the cut list now. So I have a 1969 cut list, 350 Rocket, 350 Turbo Trans. I got the car from a good friend of mine 10 years ago. I looked at the title and was like, man, I had this thing for 10 years. Um, took the car all apart. Ran out of money, the car set, tore apart for a couple of years, put the car back together, got it painted. Um, as time go, I'm thinking about doing some additional stuff to it. I'm going to upload some pictures, some photos of when I first got the car from my friend, um, some photos of it tore down. <clears throat> Wasn't happy about that because it sat for so long. And the building and the progress of it coming back to where it is today and also where I plan to take it. So when I talk about where I plan to take it, I'm actually going to walk outside and show you the car. Um, Helper is going to be out there. Right, Jocelyn? You want to come out there with me? So we're going to go out there, show you the car. And as usual, comment, uh, subscribe, tell me like, you know what? I had a colors, but just keep me in the loop, okay? All right. So I'm getting ready to go over some photos right now when I first got the car. All right, so here's the motor that was in the car. Good motor. It is a 350 Rocket. I forgot what size cam was in it, but it was able to chirp in first gear from a dead stop and then chirp again in second, and sometimes it'll chirp going from second to third. So real cool engine. But what ended up happening, my buddy of mine had a Mustang with a 306 in it, and we raced, and he beat me in the race. So that made me want to go and take the motor out and swap a cam. So I'm gonna send a picture of the cam specs of what's in there now and go on to the next slide. All right, so here's a photo of pretty much the motor outside of the car. Um, on the engine stand, I power washed it and it was before I took it apart. Next photo I'm gonna take of just some photos that I had inside, well, with the motor outside of the car, so let's see. All right, this here, just a random photo of me taking the motor apart. You can see, basically, I put a bigger cam inside. So I'm going to up, I think it was like a 515 lift cam. It humped, it sounded good. So really enjoyed it after that. It had a higher RPM range. So that friend that I raced inside of the Mustang, I had him off the line, but once I got the third gear, he got me. So pretty much afterwards with that bigger cam, I had a larger RPM range and I was able to hawk them down on the next race. All right, so the rest of the photos are basically just some random photos inside the motor. It was something that I found with the springs in it that I sent over to Haggerty when I got my car insured. Uh, next one is me just being cool. Uh, well, here in Michigan, we have, uh, it was the Michigan Avenue cruise or the Telegraph cruise. So it was one of those cruises that I stopped at and took a photo of myself. When I got the car from my friend, it was no hood on it. And the last photo is a picture that I thought was cool. I had got some rims for my cousin, put them on the car, needed a paint job and everything else. And that's what we threw in the car. So a slight introduction of the car. Uh, just going to go outside now and show you where it's at now. Well, before I go outside, I came across a few more pictures of the car tore down. So... Fenders off, motor out at my younger brother house. Uh, a few more photos with, you can see the rust spots. So it was a lot of rust up under the fenders, 
quarters. Michigan. It's a Michigan card. It's a 69. The card over 40 years old. So what you expect, all right? Yeah, got it together. It looked a little bit better now. It's a few imperfections inside of the paint. But I would definitely, you know, I know I said last time I'm going outside. But I'll go outside now that way you can see them. Also, I'm getting ready to play a clip of what the motor sounded like, too. So tell me what you think. I said you're going to tear their grass up. So this is where the car stands now. It's a 350 Rocket. It's a Holly Brawler. Single feed. I want to try it out. 650. It is now silver with some 22-inch Ruchis. With the paint, the gentleman that painted didn't line my stuff up. So definitely have some chips. Uh, come back here. He's supposed to like buff something out last year that he messed up on. I don't know. Now the inside, I don't have my seats redone. The front, at least not. The rear panels on back order from Original Parts Group. I have my rear seats redone, but I just haven't put them in the car yet because I was waiting on my side panels to be put in. Pretty cool. I was on eBay and I found the original radio out of 69 colors and I installed one under the dash. So I put my carpet kit in, have some six and a halves and the kick panels. I think it's like three, two, three and a halves in there. I'm going to walk around back. You good over there? You good help? Yeah, I'm good. I'm watching you. All right, so kind of go back on the paint that I just wasn't satisfied. So when I took it to the gentleman to have a paint, I asked him about painting my trunk, right? And of course you don't want to open so That's another YouTube video. And like, he didn't paint my trunk. So my trunk is like rusted. It's not the same color as the car. And he had the car over the year. So it was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm not even going to complain. Part of my garage, I was in the midst of cleaning out my storage unit. So the storage unit cleaned out, but it's still stuff in the garage. So pardon it. But oh, I have new door panels that I bought. So the front ones came in. I'm just waiting on the rear ones. I'm going to be cheap for now because everything is on back order and just buy like a $20 seat cover off Amazon just to throw over to the front. And well, there's more stuff in there, but as far as the rims, I just had some rallies on it. Walk back around. That's my baby right here. Oh, let me show you. That go Jocelyn car. She got a vet, but she too small for it, so she can't drive it yet. But this is pretty much the cutlass. The outside. Oh, I have like some, I think six and a half. Oh, let me show you something else. And... Bam. Like a 1200 watt interior amp right there. So, pretty cool. I mean, for what it is, let's see what it crank. The fumes are like crazy. So, yeah. So, with the new carburetor, I need to play with the fuel air mixture a little bit. So, I'm not going to start it with the baby out here because the fumes are kind of strong. And that leads me to the next thing for what I was thinking of next. So, I wanted to add the Holly Sniper on it. So, let me get back in the house. All right. We're going to go back to the computer, right? Let's go back in. Let's talk. Let's go back in. All right, let's go in. That's the cam car. Of course, I left it outside, but it was like a 515 lift. Uh, nice size cam. You heard the video. It has a nice little chop to it, so it's cool. All right, and let's talk about it. All right, so I had to do a wardrobe change. When I brought Jocelyn in, she has, not destroyed, but she has blessed a lot of my shoulders on my shirt. So she had a burp that was in there that needed to come out. And the burp had a little bit, okay, I'm not going to tell you business. But I had to change the shirt. So representing high school now, Rama is high. Um, okay, so what I left off on was talking about the Holly Sniper. Holly Sniper is pretty cool. My friend has one. Another friend of mine has the Vitex, Vitex system. EFI, it actually tunes itself to the motor. I'm not that old school, so I can tune the car, but it can be kind of trippy, tricky. But the Holly Sniper seems like a good idea. But the only reason I bought the car, because it was like 350 uh, Holly Brawler, and I didn't want to spend like 1300 bucks on the Holly Sniper. Then I have to rerun fuel lines, make the return line, possibly come out of almost two grand. And the only reason I didn't 
do it. It wasn't just a cost because I'm also thinking about LS in it. So I want to grab either a van, 2500 van with a 6.0 or whatever. I want to put a 6.0 in it with a four speed tram. So that's what I'm back and forth on. I didn't want to spend the, the money for the Holly Sniper and I might want to add boost on it too. So I'm figuring out my plan as we go. If you all have any A bodies with LSs in it or any information about the LS swap, Tune in, like it, you know, comment it, let me know what you got. That way you can kind of help me out with my idea of what I want to do. So it is like 30 minutes past somebody's bedtime and I can't put her to sleep because look, she want to know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, you laid me down, but I want to look at the computer. So we about to take her nap. She about to take her nap. Uh, hit me up. Leave some comments. Let me know what, what you all working on too and help me out with some ideas. Next, I'm going to give an introduction of my motorcycle. So it'll be home tomorrow. I'm bringing it on from the storage, let you know what I did to it and potentially where I want to go with it. So talk to you all soon. Have a good one.